guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm here today to do kind of a risky video and I hope you guys appreciate it and take it for what it's worth. Um, last time I tried to talk about replicas, um, replica handbags or fakes on my channel, YouTube took my video down. Um, I ended up getting it back up on my channel, but they really don't like for you to talk about replicas. And I think it's an important topic that needs to be discussed by people like me who love handbags and I just want to say f at the beginning of this video that I do not condone buying replicas. I do not think that it is an industry that anyone sh should support, okay? I am here to show you the difference between real and fake so that you don't go out there and buy a replica um, and get scammed. I'm trying to avoid people getting scammed because I think it the replicas that are being made these days are so scarily good that it is very easy to buy one by accident and get scammed. So I just wanna show you in the flesh a real favorite MM and a fake favorite MM. And I wanna show you the differences. So here is, here they are, okay? So off the bat, can you tell which one is real and which one is fake? It's pretty scary, isn't it? This is the replica. This is the authentic. And it is terrifying, <laughs> okay? Look at the pattern placements. Even that is almost identical where the pattern is lined up on the bag. Look at the sides here even how they have placed the pattern on the sides is identical. They have really studied these bags, especially the really popular styles like the favorite to make them exactly, almost exactly the same. And if you don't know what to look for, it would be very easy to buy this off of eBay or another resale site thinking it was authentic and have no idea. So let me show you a couple of really subtle differences and I may have to insert some other videos and still pictures so that you guys can see up close the details that I'm talking about because they're very hard to see. Um, you can see the canvas texture is pretty darn similar. And a lot of people say that's what to look for. People also say, you know, the feeling of the canvas is different. I'm telling you now in person, it does not feel different. These canvases, the texture is the same and the weight of it is the same. The kind of bendability of it is the same. It feels the same. Um, I will say the fake bag, the print is just ever so slightly brighter. This has a, just a touch more green in it that doesn't make it quite as bright. This has more brown, um, but it is a very, very subtle difference. Let's talk about the hardware, okay? So the straps, let's talk about the strap hardware and the straps themselves. Same hardware, okay? In person, feels the same. Everything looks the same. The stamps on them are the same. They're the same shape. I will say the one thing that you can look for here on the straps are, is I should say. Do you see that little indent that goes all along the side? In the fake strap, it is further in on the strap. So there's a bigger, wider boy, a boider, border that goes around. This is very close to the edge. Now it's a little hard to compare the edging color because obviously this is not used and this one has been very used. But you can see on the fake, it is much more red. And that is something that people point out a lot of time on fakes is that the edge color is much more red than the than authentic edge color okay 
but you can see it's pretty darn similar. The stitch, stitching is yellow, the hardware is the same, the way the strap is made is the same. But you can look for that little border detail to see how close it is to the edge. The other things that are slightly different are some of the stitching. So I will say the stitching is very well done. It is regular, it is slightly slanted, just like how it should be for a hand-sewn bag. But you can see it just stands out more. It's thicker, the edge of this, of this fake one looks kind of puffy. It doesn't blend into the bag as well. On this one, the edge, the, the stitching just blends in a little better. The edges are flat. So it just looks a little more tailored. Um, the other thing that will show you it is fake is the heat stamp inside. I'm going to show, try to show this on camera, but I might have to insert pictures for this because it's kind of hard to show. I don't think I can show both at once. Okay, so here's the authentic right? You can see this font. Everything's kind of close together. It's pushed in. Um, you know, it looks like it's stamped with some authority. Okay. Now let me show you the fake. The font is just not the same. It's skinnier. The letters are spaced out more. It's not pushed as much into the bag. It just, especially in person when you can compare them side by side, it just looks different. The other thing that will tip you off to real versus fake is the date code. So you have to at least, first of all, you have to look for a date code that makes sense. If it doesn't make sense, you know automatically it's fake. So the date code in this bag is AR, 4018, which would mean it was made in 2008. This bag looks brand new. If it was made in 2008 and this was a 10 year old bag, it just doesn't make sense, right? So that would tip you off right there. This one is MI4124, which means it was made in 2014. It's a four year old bag. It shows where it makes sense. So that's the first thing you can look for. The other thing you can look for is the font on the date code. Now this one, I'll try to show it on camera here, but I might have to insert a picture. See that? Okay, now let me show you this fake one. The font just looks different. It's not as centered on the tag. It just looks skinny, I guess I would say. But the main thing that I noticed that is different, and I checked other the photos of other authentic favorites. When you read this code, let's say you're looking in this bag to get to the code, you simply open it and look inside and you can easily read the code because it starts with the letters towards the bottom of the bag. M I blah blah blah. Very easy to read, right? And the fake one, they haven't picked up on this detail, right? So you open it, you go to read the date code, and it's backwards. So the letters start at the top, the way it's sewn in, and you have to kind of turn the bag to read it. A R blah 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 going down rather than up. So I will say if you, if you look at the date code in a favorite and the letters start towards the bottom of the bag and you read it up towards the top, that's a good sign that it's real. If you have to kind of turn your head and read the letters from the top of the bag down towards the bottom, not real. Every picture that I've looked up of favorites, they start the letters start at the bottom of the date code tag. The other thing I noticed is the stitching here on the pocket. In the fake one, it just looks chintzy. It looks thin. It looks like it kind of, it just doesn't look well done. It doesn't look as well done as the outside stitching. On this one, it looks like it blends into the back more. See, you don't. it just doesn't stand out as much. I don't know what it is. It's not as shiny. 
it's not as abrasive to the eye like it just blends in with the interior um and then lastly let's look at the chain straps because i will say those are pretty similar i just want to show you that they look almost identical and the same thing with the hardware it is pretty much identical so i would not look at that if you're going to if you're trying to authenticate a favorite mm I would just stay away from trying to look at the chain strap and tell. Um, even the rivets, how they are stamped, looks exactly the same. So if you're gonna try to uh, figure out if you're buying an authentic bag, here's what I would look for in summary. This quality of the stitching around the flap. Does it, is the flap puffy? Is it flat? How does the stitching look? Does it look thick? Does it stand out from the bag? The strap, the Vachetta strap, that little, um, you know, that little dent that goes all the way around both edges of the strap. Is it very close to the edge or is it set in a little bit so it gives a, like a thicker appearance to that little dent that goes around? Then of course, check the heat stamp. Check it against pictures of other favorite MMs in, for example, like Louis Vuitton collector groups on Facebook, you're not really gonna find fakes in there because people will call out anyone who tries to post a fake and it'll get deleted so fast. Go in there, look and see what the font looks like in authentic ones and check it against the one that you're looking at. Does the font look skinny? Does it look like it's spaced far apart? Um, does it look like the stitching matches up and is consistent? Then check the date code. Does the date code make sense? Does it just make sense for the age of the bag versus the condition? Does the font look the same as other date codes when you look up pictures? Do, do the letters start towards the bottom of the bag or towards the top of the bag? If it starts toward the top, I would be wary of it. So just a couple of tips to look for. Like I said, if you don't know what you're looking for, it is so easy to buy a fake out there. So I encourage everyone to educate yourselves. Um, if I have the opportunity to do other videos like this, I will and hopefully YouTube will let me keep them up because I think it is important for people to protect themselves from being scammed. And it's so easy to do these days. I mean, just look, it's really easy to do. All right guys. Thank you so much for watching my channel. I really appreciate it and I hope you found this video helpful. Um, if you have any comments or questions, please leave them below. I am always learning and I learn tons from you guys too. So if you have other tips of what to look for about favorite MMs specifically, um, I would love to read them in the comments and I would love for them to be down there for other people to read so that we can all kind of learn how to not buy fakes because nobody wants that to happen to them. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching today. And if you haven't subscribed, I hope that you will and you will join me for my next video. All right, I'll catch you on my next one. Bye.